Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Nick and in today's video we are going to be decorating my museum. Um, now, especially for this island, I didn't have much of an idea um, for my museum. So I kind of more threw everything together. Um, but at, I think at the end it came out pretty, pretty good. Um, here is our little museum area. It's right above the last part of our um, neighborhood. I am using my first two Lily of the Valleys for this build because honestly, I feel like having them in front of those red banners on each side of the museum would work really, really well. And another thing I wanted to point out I don't really use, I feel like I don't use many trees on my island, like even the regular hardwood trees, um, I don't really use that often, like I don't use the fruit trees, I don't really use the pine trees very often, I don't, I don't use, I don't, I don't really use the trees, um, and I'm trying to use more trees, because especially spring core, the regular uh, green trees are perfect for spring core, but the dark green pine trees really aren't. However, I wanted, I feel like it looks better with the tall pine tree, especially for the museum. So, um, yeah, I looked at my inventory in my house storage and, um, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, so I found the fountain, and I'm like, let's put the fountain in the middle, and then utilize my flower daisy path, and see, because one thing that I love doing, it's in my entrance, and I think there's a few other spots in the island where it is, I like putting little circles, like in the middle of my path, and that makes room for an item or flowers perhaps um and it's in my entrance i love it there i have like a little stone stool with a monarch butterfly bottle in it and i think it's perfect there and you can just go around it and it's not in the way and it just adds lots of like really good detail so i thought let's utilize the path make a big circle it's more of like a, a square more than a circle but I think it works walk around walk around the fountain I think it I think it's really nice um, another thing that I use I think I use more for the um, neighborhood area are the fairy lights I love the fairy lights I think they add like a nice arch like you see all of like the spooky arches the shell the shell arches and now there's the fairy light arches and i think they're really cool i i even have one in my house and i well i just love using them another thing i really wanted to point out um i did not have a lot i feel like i keep running out of items if that makes sense like the items that like I use a lot, like the ones that I love using, especially for this island. Like I like the bug model that I used at the front of this build was I'm pretty sure my last bug model. Um, and I have like no more garden wagons. I have like no like I'm running. I feel like I'm running out of flowers. Like. I'm on my last few purple flowers. I'm running out of pink flowers. I need these pink flowers for the rest of the island. There's so much more of the rest of the island to go. And I do have a big plan for the top right part of my island. You guys are going to see that soon. Hopefully. It, it might be a little bit of a big build because it um, includes a lot of waterscaping. That's all I'm going to say. It includes lots of waterscaping, and if you know me, you know that I absolutely hate the waterscaping tool in this game. Er, the waterscaping tool and, like, the terraforming is... It's just always sometimes really stubborn, if that makes sense. And 
want it to be stubborn, so I'm... But this build that I'm going to make, I've made... I think I tried to make one on 8-Bit Isle once, it was my very first island. It was a really weird shape, and it was just really weird. Um, but I would like to try and make it again, so... Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I will try my best for you guys. Um, so, obviously, this build, just throwing things together. The bistro table kind of came last minute, especially because like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I thought about it. Your family's going to the museum. They're going to want, like, after the museum, what are we going to do? Like, what's the plan after that? So I decided a few seating areas. I have the swinging bench, I have the bistro table, and a really cute and aesthetically pleasing area. So I just put a bunch of seating area. There's also a bench more closer to the right side of the build. And honestly, I don't know. I like a bunch of seating areas around the museum works and yeah I started just like putting flowers everywhere like I didn't I didn't know what else to do because there's this giant open area right in front of the swinging bench I'm like, I want to put a picnic blanket somewhere but like I want this tree here so I got rid of the tree yes um, I also did utilize the um, cleanup tool in um, the little, um, what's it called, the um, designer app thing, um, the like the terraforming thing, and um, honestly, it's a lifesaver. I know it probably, it probably takes more time than like eating the fruit and then digging up the tree, but... I hate having to go get a bunch of fruit, and then, because like, I feel like getting the fruit's going to take a long time, so might as well have the app open, let's just use it, and get rid of these dang trees, because, yeah, um, but yeah, picnic blanket, another little seating area, um, <laughs> but I feel like I've used so many picnic blankets in this island. I think it's because it just goes really well, and I love the picnic blanket I have. This is how everything came out. I think it came out really, really nice. Um, I think the thing that stands out the most is the fountain and like the path, because there's a lot of the path, and I love that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for the recent love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys liked it, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next Animal Crossing video. Goodbye.